Hello, in this tutorial we will learn one of the ways in which you can access your STAR 360 student summary reports. First, using any web browser, go ahead and log on to the STAR 360 sign-on page. If you are using one of the desktop computers inside the computer lab, chances are the STAR 360 login shortcut has been created for you. If you are using your teacher laptop and are on campus, you may access it by simply typing in the web address for STAR360. To demonstrate, I am opening a new window and will type the address. This address will need to be typed in. Once it is typed, you will go ahead and hit the enter button. This will bring you to the STAR360 login page. Using the first part of your EPISD email, and the same password you use to log into your email, you will now be able to log in. Once you are logged on to STAR360, your dashboard should look similar to this. Now, if for those that have taken the reading assessment, you simply move your cursor over the tab, select it, and you will be given a list of options, beginning from Enterprise Home all the way down to resources. To access student reports, go to the reports tab, click it, and you will be given a list of frequently used reports and supplemental reports to which you can go ahead and choose. The two commonly used reports are the student diagnostic report and also the classroom summary report. To access the student diagnostic report, simply hover over the diagnostic tab and this report will provide you with the diagnostic and skill information of each individual student. To access the classroom summary report, go ahead and move your cursor over the summary tab and click on it. This will give you a list of customizable options. Once here, you can select your classroom. You can also select the date range in which you want to view the results for. A common practice is to group them by the class so that all students are not grouped together. And another common choice is to have them listed in alphabetical order. Once you have chosen your options, go ahead and click the view report button. After a few moments, your document will be ready to view. In this report, you will see the student's name, the class, and the teacher. Additionally, you will also see the various scores in which this exam measured. One measure shown is the normal curve equivalent, abbreviated by NCE. These are derived from national percentile ranks, and there are normalized scores with a mean of 50. NCEs can be interpreted in much the same way as percentile ranks. NCEs may be averaged to describe group performance. This is one of the main reasons why NCEs are often used in evaluating results in Title I programs. Other useful information include the student's instructional reading level. The student's instructional reading level is abbreviated with the letters IRL. Another great piece of data is that this report shows you the student's zone of proximal development. This is abbreviated with the letters ZPD. The zone of proximal development is the difference between what a learner can do without the help and what he or she can do with help. 